Hello and welcome to a new vlog. In the background you can see my uh, Creality CR10 3D printer. It's been a great printer for me and uh, I also have done a video on this uh, printer which I will uh, link on screen right now. If you are looking to get your first uh, 3D printer I can highly recommend the, the CR10 model or the CR10 ST upgraded model because they are great uh, printers to start with. Uh, they are very easy to set up and uh, get started printing with uh, very good results. You can check out the links I've uh, placed in the description if you want to purchase one of these uh, printers. I've been wanting to add the auto bed leveling uh, feature to this printer ever since I got it and uh, I found two problems so far. One of them is finding the right sensor and the second problem is fitting uh, the modified firmware inside the uh, custom uh, motherboard uh, that you get with the CR10 3D printer. In this video we're going to discuss uh, problem number one, finding the right sensor. As you can see I have uh, four different sensors attached to the printer right now. I have attached them to this uh, piece of uh, wood and the plan here is to have them all at the same uh, level uh, touching the glass bed and uh, then using the printer and the z-axis to move all the sensors at once to determine their uh, sensing this distance uh, to the glass bed. The problem with these sensors is that they are usually inductive and they have a small sensing distance, 4 to 8 mm usually, which is not really enough when you are using a glass bed for printing because uh, uh, by the time uh, you, the sensor gets close enough to the glass to sense the aluminum bed, the printer head is above and the sensor is already touching the bed so it cannot go any lower. So that's not going to work because you need to have the print head touching the glass bed before the sensor. I have four different uh, sensors in here. I'll uh, add their part numbers as overlays of, on the screen. And uh, you can also find links to these uh, sensors in the description below. So I'm going to turn on the 3D printer. It's uh, going to get noisy because all of the fans uh, are, are running. Or maybe I'll do a voiceover later, but I will be able to... Uh, control the z-axis from the control panel in small one millimeter increments to see uh, which sensor performs best. So right now all of the sensors are touching the glass bed and we can look for their LED to see if they triggered or not. As we can see just the first sensor and the last one are actually triggering right now. So it's pretty useless to get these two sensors in the middle because they don't even trigger when they are literally touching the glass bed. They must have a sensing distance less than 4 mm uh, or whatever the thickness of this glass sheet uh, is. Also the fact that the bed is aluminium doesn't help because uh, these inductive sensors are designed to detect ferrous materials. But nonetheless these two sensors are useless for our needs. And let me raise the bed just a bit to show you they are indeed working. By inserting this uh, steel scraping tool we can see they trigger but uh, through the printing glass they do not. So. I don't recommend getting these two unless you are printing directly on the aluminium bed with uh, some other type of thin uh, protection layer so the sensor can get really close to the actual aluminium bed. So we are left with these two sensors. The left one is inductive and the right one is capacitive. And if I raise the bed by just one millimeter, the inductive sensor doesn't detect the bed anymore. And that's not good because uh, you want at least a couple of millimeters of distance between the sensor and the glass bed to allow the print head to touch the bed first and the sensor should just hover above without touching the bed. So in the end we are left with only one choice of sensor, the capacitive one. And with this one I can raise the sensor uh, roughly 7 millimeters above the glass bed and it will still detect it. This is a very good uh, sensing distance, so I pretty much like this sensor because we get the because we get this much distance uh, between the sensor and the bed. That is likely because the sensor is capacitive instead of inductive, and so it can sense a combination of uh, glass bed over aluminium much better. 
Having 7 mm of clearance will allow me to place the sensor above the uh, print head and it will help stay clear of the things I have on the edge of the print bed like these uh, paper clips holding it together. So I will connect uh, this sensor to my printer and uh, I already have the, uh, the mount for th that sensor already attached to the print head, it's right here. So it should be pretty easy to connect it to the um, uh, printer. And I will report back in a future video to tell you if this auto bed leveling function is really worth your time. However, if you plan to do this uh, upgrade, I think this capacitive sensor is a good option and uh, you should order it ahead of time. That was all for today, I hope this video is useful for you and uh, as always hit the like button and I will see you next time.